When was the last time you've had a really delicious keto French toast? What if I told you I have not one, but two amazing keto French toast recipes that will change breakfast forever? I'll be sharing a traditional version, a high protein version, and I'll be sharing some tips that will take your French toast to the next level. So let's just get into the recipe. So this French toast recipe is for four slices, but you can double it and make eight slices. So the first thing you wanna do is take a medium bowl and add one large egg, half a cup of any milk of your choice. I used unsweetened almond milk, half a tablespoon of brown sugar substitute. I used Swerve, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Now whisk your ingredients until smooth and combined. Now one of my tips for making better French toast is to soak it for a minimum of 10 minutes. So grab a baking pan large enough to fit all your bread. Pour your custard in the pan. The bread I used was the Sola two net car bread. If your grocery store sells this, it'll be in the frozen food section, or you can make a homemade keto bread recipe and use that. So go ahead and submerge your bread and the custard in the baking pan. And make sure to occasionally flip it. And after about 10 to 15 minutes, all the custard will be absorbed by your bread. Now it's time to cook your keto French toast. To do this, you wanna grab a skillet and preheat it on medium high heat. And a trick to keep the bread from cooking too fast is to coat your skillet in neutral oil and then add the butter. This will keep the butter from cooking too fast and burning your bread. Once your skillet is heated on medium high heat, add your French toast. Once your French toast is on the skillet, lower the heat to medium. It should take about four to five minutes on each side for it to cook through. If you have any spots that aren't cooking evenly, you can position it on the skillet. That way just that part is making contact. Now another trick to keep the French toast from burning on the outside is to wipe out the skillet in between each batch. So go ahead and wipe it out with a damp paper towel and do the same thing. Add your neutral oil, your butter, add your French toast on medium high heat to prevent the custard from spilling. Lower the heat to medium and cook it four to five minutes each side. After you're finished cooking your batch of French toast, you can top it wherever you like, but I just try to keep it classic, powdered sugar substitute, butter, and sugar-free syrup. Now enjoy this unbelievably keto classic French toast. So this version is more of a classic French toast. Of course, you have to top it with some butter, some powdered sugar substitute, and some sugar-free syrup. So let's give it a try. It's a big difference, letting the bread really soak up the custard or the mixture. Cheers. Everything about it, it tastes just like a classic French toast. It's crazy. If you use the tips I gave you to make this French toast, even though it's keto, it's still gonna be delicious and it's still gonna be on a whole nother level. And of course the macros on this French toast make it even more amazing. 2.3 grams of carbs, 4.3 grams of fiber, and only one gram of sugar per slice. If you want a French toast with all the taste of the classic version, but none of the guilt, this is the recipe you need. So this high protein recipe makes six slices of French toast. So the first thing you wanna do is grab a medium bowl and add two large eggs three large egg whites, or a third cup of liquid egg whites, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a cup milk of your choice, I use unsweetened almond milk, half a cup of protein powder, I use Dimatize Fruity Pebble Whey Isolate. If you're interested in purchasing this, there'll be a link in the description, and a half a teaspoon vanilla extract. Give that a whisk until combined. Now, Grab a baking pan big enough to fit all your slices of bread. Add your custard mixture to your baking pan. Submerge your keto bread. And be sure to occasionally flip the bread, making sure to soak up all the custard. Now while the French toast is soaking, let's add some more protein. I use Magic Spoon High Protein Low Carb Cereal. If you're interested in purchasing this, there'll be a link in the description. Add one and a quarter cups of the Magic Spoon to a Ziploc bag. Crush it to panko sized crumbs and put that in a large bowl. I also made a protein frosting, which consisted of three tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt, three tablespoons of the Dimatize Fruity Pebble Whey Isolate, a quarter teaspoon vanilla extract, and two tablespoons unsweetened almond milk. Mix that with a spoon and set that aside. 
Once your French toast has been sitting in the custard for a minimum of 10 minutes up to 15 minutes, go ahead and coat it in the Magic Spoon cereal. Press the coating in on each side. And when you're ready, cook your French toast just like you did the classic version. Add the neutral oil, one tablespoon of butter, and add the high protein French toast on medium high heat to keep the custard from running. And once on the skillet, lower the heat to medium. This one will cook a little bit faster because of the egg whites. So it should take about three to four minutes each side. Once all your protein French toast is cooked, go ahead and plate it. Add your high protein icing, some more crushed Magic Spoon cereal. You could add some more syrup if you like, but I thought it tasted pretty good the way it was. Now enjoy this crazy high protein keto French toast, which has an unbelievable 20 grams of protein per slice. For this version, I really wanted to take it to the next level and pack it with as much protein as possible. The Magic Spoon cereal coating adds a ton of extra protein with minimal carbs and the protein icing is super simple, yet it tastes amazing. I'm excited to try this one. Cheers. That is one of the craziest French toasts I've ever had. There's so much going on. The icing adds a little bit of sweetness. The Magic Spoon gives it a nice crunch. The Fruity Pebble Custard with the Fruity Pebble icing with the Fruity Magic Spoon cereal. You'd think it'd be overly sweet with all the extra components, but actually it tastes amazing. I just need to start a food truck and start selling this. It's that good. And the macros, five grams of carbs, three grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein per slice. If you're looking for a low carb, high protein breakfast idea, this recipe is perfect for you. Hmm. If you know someone who needs to level up their breakfast, please share the video and hit the like button if you would try these two awesome keto French toast recipes. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep it classy, keep it keto. Keto Craft Kitchen, out. If you're looking for a protein packed brunch idea, check out this keto frittata video here. And for all my keto breakfast recipes, check out this playlist. And for future content, please subscribe. Thank you.